A dream that no one could save A shelter A whole act A light that died with the night You and I We got our differences Yet I thought we were more alike than unlike Months of rain and chest pain What's the plan? Heavy breathing, stay insane Grab my hand Everything Great inside this narrow maze. We speak, but oh, nothing. We run a separate ways. Do you ever think about me? Balls, welcome back to Suyana Zoo. Come take a fly with me here, and I'll show you our newest resident. Oh, there goes a balloon. Can we pop the balloons? Yep. <laughs> Let's go back here. Got you a new waterfall going. Got you some new large, <laughs> large Suyana residents. We've got the African ele elephant exhibit back here. And, um, you know, all of this uh, originally, and actually I had been saying on Instagram, I thought this area was going to be like the Australian area because I even tooled this tree after that. Like that was going to, like this tree, this massive tree. I don't even know what it is. It's just, I kind of just put a bunch of vines and, and logs together. And uh, I knew I wanted like a big like a tree of life's kind of centerpiece back here that kind of like pulled people. But, you know, when I started looking at the space back here and, and you know, we actually, if we go under the tree um, and you kind of peel off to the left, um, you'll notice the border of the park is right here. So I thought it just kind of worked out better to uh, cap this end off over here with, with the large elephant exhibit than to kind of try to break it up amongst the different um, Australian animals. So maybe we'll go a different direction with them. Um, you know, maybe kind of back over like towards where the crocodiles are, that end path. I think we actually even still have a, uh, we still have like the construction wall cap over there so maybe that could be like our I don't know like maybe our outback section over there you know so I just thought this worked out a little better um the lions you know we've got the lions over here already um and just kind of you know maybe just kind of finish out that uh that African vibe over there um behind the islands and that's kind of where we got the uh the African elephant exhibit here i get try to give them plenty of room they've got their big lagoon here um retooled the uh the um the waterfall from the front entrance jaguar falls um raised it up did a little bit changed the configuring on the rocks a little and really gave like the elephant lagoon over here like a just a real big um you know real big punch real big water feature over here and uh, i think it just kind of kind of goes with their brand over here being so uh being so large and giving them a huge waterfall i think it would attract a lot of people over this way and um and then too i think the big tree 
I think it just complements the uh, I think it complements the giraffe exhibit really well too. And you know, I was down here looking right before I did the cinematics. And look, you know, we 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 always say in Suyana we like the uh, we like the exhibits to be a little more implied. Like instead of just having big giant signs like elephants this way, I think it was really cool to kind of have the elephant sculpture here at the base of the tree, and then kind of look how the limbs they almost look like big elephant trunks um you know shooting out from the main uh the, it kind of looked like big uh, elephant trunk like branches shooting off from the main trunk here so i thought that was kind of like uh i didn't mean for it to come out like that but once you're down in here and you're kind of looking you're like that does kind of look like elephant uh you know elephant trunks so yeah that is uh instead of being the australian area this can, and I still need to work on the back of the tree too. Um, this could just be uh, the uh, kind of leading you to the elephants over there. And then, of course, we've got the, you know, we've got the shopping kind of through here, kind of like our open air marketplace. And, there, you know, there's a lot more subtleties, like we've got the big lion sculpture up here. And, you know, that could kind of lead people to believe, oh, the, the lions must be back here somewhere. This is just my little my little implied meerkat exhibit. Hopefully we really get meerkats one day. I think that would be awesome. Got a couple little exhibits over here. These cute little guys. And then when you kind of make your way over here, we've got another little shopping area. Or you can kind of make your way out here to the tortoises. Whoa, did you see that jump? We've got our tigers over here. Taking a swim. He just jumped from that log. So they're out there having fun. And then, like I said, their neighbors are the, uh, are the Okapi and the giant tortoise over here. They're just hanging out, hanging out in the sprinklers. <laughs> somebody was telling me that we actually need to get them some like get these guys some more hiding in here because they're a really kind of you know not necessarily skittish but they they really they need their privacy away from like you know the prying eyes of the guests so maybe we'll uh, we'll definitely look into that um, what else do we need to show you guys? Uh, I don't like I said we won't do a whole, uh, you know, exhibit by exhibit uh, review this time. Maybe we'll save that for next time. Here's the our flamingo lagoon out here. One of the Zoopedia facts that we got from uh, from Frontier over August <laughs> said that uh, these flamingos there has been fossil records of flamingo. Uh, you know, uh, bones from 40 million years ago. So these guys have been here for a while. Oh, this is my rock climbing wall, if you guys haven't noticed that. Kind of like a little adventure course over here. We kind of did some little one-off builds uh, right here. So this is, a, this is one of my gift shops right here, and then like a hotel facade right there. I love, I kind of, I've kind of, I just love coming in and watching this whole little area because the, the people, it's a really, really popular little thoroughfare here where they're making their way to the, to the far ends of the park. And I, I've told you guys this before, but I love coming through and, uh, and, and looking out the window here and watching the guests walk by. So yeah, this is our this is our little uh, successor zoo of Pine Creek. That Pine Creek, if you don't know, was kind of like my uh, my attempt at a bro nation uh, realistic type build. And uh, I had kind of wanted to come in here. I was telling my buddy Claire, I, I got the realistic stuff out of my system. Then I, Now I just wanted to come in and do like no budget hyper fantasy zoo. And uh, one of my buddies, I forget what her name is. She corrected me on the, uh, on the ombu tree here. 
This is not from the Australian pack. I had never seen it before, but it was actually, we had got it in the pack before this. So that was from the South American pack. I could have been using it this whole time. And I thought it had just popped up in the, uh, in the Australian pack. So thank you guys for <laughs> telling me about that. Um, this is just a little orangutan exhibit over here. And then kind of make your way out here to the, to the Croc Lagoon. And then we also have a little underwater section on there. But um, coming over here, see, this is what I was saying. I've kind of, I still have the construction walls up over here. We could get out here and actually maybe do some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, you know, Australian exhibit. Um, Jur, my buddy Jur and Zoofluencer, they've been doing some really cool um, Australian exhibits. Mass Bandit. Rudy has some cool ones out. Uh, my buddy Coaster Designer, he's been busting me lately about trying to find something to work out with this uh, treehouse village up here because it's kind of just a big, it's kind of just big facades right now. So we got, we'll have to get up there and figure something out. I'm kind of hoping, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that maybe we get a pack in the future, like maybe even a, a bird pack, you know, an a Avery pack. And we can get up here and maybe do something with that. So I'm kind of not wanting to mess with that too much right now because, especially with that DLC still sitting out there in the uh, in the in the Steam database, I kind of want to wait and see kind of what they have up their sleeves uh, before I really start messing with that. And I know that we said we're gonna. I wanted to hold off till the Australia pack, um, and I haven't even really used much Australia pack stuff yet. Uh, but I did want to get over here and get the. Uh, you know, get the elephant area in, but we will start diving into the Australian pack. We got plenty of time. We will get over here and kind of start working something out with that. I want to definitely get a, uh, some kind of, um, you know, uh, safari Jeep tour going. I already built a station for it. I just haven't placed it down yet. So, you know, there's still a lot of, uh, there's still a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff we need to check off our list with Suyana. So, I still see it having a pretty good bit of life left. But anyways, guys, I'll go ahead and jump on out of here. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more Planet Zoo mischief. And uh, we will just keep the ball rolling with Suyana. And, um, oh, actually, if you've hung around this far, let me take you in and show you. You will get a peek at Grizzly Beach here. Let's load this up a second, and I will show you kind of what I've been... Uh, kind of what I've been messing with. I brought in the lake from Pine Creek over into Grizzly Beach, and I also brought in like a fly shop, and I think it looks pretty cool. A lot of you guys were saying, man, you need to come in and do a, uh, like a nature preserve park, and that's kind of what I'm, it's kind of what I'm doing here. So we've got the big waterfall, but check this out. Look, Pine Creek's lake ended up just importing over really really cool like and so we've got like the ranger station over here see we've got to kind of gate all this up because of the bears and uh, he's got his jeep over here so he can get out of here and i kind of retooled the waterfall a little bit too made it a little thicker kind of adjusted the angles on on that left side over there and i think it just looks killer and then of course right here we've got the grizzly beach fly shop so you can go in there and kind of get all your supplies before you head out in your kayak or your canoe or, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah, if you look up here, look, we've got plenty of room to kind of play around with and just make this a big natural preserve. I could, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do, we'll bring back the, uh, the bear exhibit and then maybe I could naturally block off fencing and maybe we could do, I know, you know, I really wish we had moose and elk and, and more North American type animals, but maybe we could do the reindeers and the wolves. We could definitely do wolves, maybe do the dowel sheep. And uh, I could just make this one big, what, what will, you know, they'll be separated by exhibits, but you won't be able to tell where the exhibit separates. It'll just be like a big, maybe cohesive nature preserve out here. And I don't know if we'll do like an organized series on this. This will just be one of those things where when I don't feel like working on Suyana, I'll come over here and kind of just, uh, kind of just mess with this in my spare time. But so yeah, this is uh, for all you th hung around late 
in Suyana. Thank you. This is this is a little sneak peek into Grizzly Beach's fly shop. So uh, definitely let me know down below if you stop by. I'll tell you what, do hashtag Grizzly Beach, and that will let me know that you made it 12 minutes and 45 seconds into this, and uh, and you got a little sneak peek of, uh, of Grizzly Beach. So you did not sneak off early into Suyana. So anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!